welcome along and welcome back to Attingham Park. Today we are going to be getting rid of the weeds from the last of our seeding. We're into June, we're about a month away from harvest restarting. So uh, the next couple of days are really going to be down to uh, trying to get ourselves in the best position for us to take advantage of, of the harvest. Uh, we have minus 43 pounds at the moment. Uh, there is about a day and 20, 21 hours left on the uh, the auction for Peel 15. I think, and the more and more I think about it, the more and more I look at it, uh, the, the more I think getting Peel 15 would be a massive mistake for us. Now, do I have... I don't think I've got all of my... Uh, yeah, those aren't connected up. That's why... I'm having trouble unfolding this. Uh, so we've got weeds in the two fields that we planted last month. So 2C has germinated and we've got weeds in that. And field 6 has germinated, we've got weeds in that. Uh, of course, we've got the weeds in the winter wheat as well that we weren't able to deal with. So we are going to be uh, getting the weeds out of uh, these two fields today. I think we're all right. This is first stage growth. So, yeah, we're all right from that point of view. Um, and, yeah, we're just going to use our 7810 for this. One thing I do like about the 7810 is the care wheels on this tractor uh, are really, really nice and uh, and look a little bit more like uh, regular wheels. So I'm, I'm basically leaving the care wheels on this tractor all the time at the moment just to sort of try and sort things out and uh, and make it easy for us to get jobs like this done and uh, and it's really really good for that so uh yeah we're leaving the care wheels on this tractor it's uh, it's great for doing jobs like this and for rolling in things and uh we will uh, we'll just keep it going we want to get this clear today and if we have time i think we might start looking at some contracts uh, simply because I think we need a little bit more money in. We will get some money in today at the top of each hour for our uh, fishing area, uh, for our, for our uh, fishing income that we have. Uh, so we're not going to stay in the minus numbers very long. Um, but I think going into harvest, we're probably going to need some money to hire uh, either a tractor driver or a combine driver. So uh, I think it's going to be worth us getting a little bit of extra cash. If not today, then possibly tomorrow. The weeds in this crop are really difficult to see. I'm, uh, I'm having a wonderful time trying to make sure that, I've, uh, that I'm catching everything. Uh, but against this, this brighter green, the, the, the sort of more off green of the weeds, is uh, it's quite hard to see. So uh, I'm having fun trying to keep uh, on the right lines. Um, we're doing okay at the moment, and uh, I think we I think we'll get through it. Uh, GPS though, I'm missing it so badly uh, with uh, with this job. Uh, it does make doing things like this so much easier. Right, I'm looking roughly where I need to keep this placed. Uh, I don't mind having some overlap because the overlap doesn't hurt. Uh, what I do need to make sure, though, is that I'm not missing any. So we line ourselves up. That looks pretty good. And then we get to 90 degrees. And away we go. And hopefully, if we have a quick look. Yeah, that's getting everything. Perfect. Uh, now, one thing I did talk about last time, uh, which... Uh, we're going to be keeping an eye out for now and uh, possibly looking to replace the county with is a new tractor and I've got a few options that we've that I've bought in um, the first is one of these new Holland uh, 70 series super steers or just the 70 series 70 series would be great we've had this on a few maps before um, it's around about the right era and I really really like this uh, lots of power to it as well. 170 horsepower staffing at, so it'd be a great upgrade for the county. Uh, the other alternative is actually in the small tractors, and that is to grab one of these TM series. 
um, which again is uh, is sort of the right sort of era. Uh, getting into the early two thousands with it, and yeah, with uh, with that sort of style on it, I really quite like. And uh, yeah, one hundred twenty four horsepower, but we can take that up to one hundred and forty four. So that would be a good tractor for us to have on the farm as well. Uh, either would have a, a much better turning circle than County. And as we start getting into some bigger fields, uh, as we're going to as the farm expands, um, those are going to be really, really useful tractors to have. After two months heavy work on the farm, getting all of our crops seeded in, it's really quite nice to have a little bit of breathing space before harvest begins. Uh, this is, well, this is the last job that we absolutely have to do, as I said before. And uh, yeah, as a result, it is uh, is making for a quite a pleasant time. Just two fields to get done and, uh, and, and get weeded uh, means that uh, we've got two days to get this work done. Um, I think it means that we're probably going to be able to spend some time with the pigs. Uh, I want to go and uh, give them a bit of feed. We've got plenty of uh, corn of their base feed that we can go and give them today. So I think we'll go and do that. Uh, I think we might look at possibly working out what we can sell from their base feed going forwards. Because we do, we do have a lot of corn kicking about. I think we could possibly... Uh, find some way of storing that maybe maybe getting a uh, a nice little area where we can uh, store that and uh, and then get it sold uh, when the best price for that hits in a few months uh in the meantime you know it's just gonna keep we want to keep pumping that base food in with the pigs uh so that as the barley goes down uh, we are able to then uh, even the things up a bit because even in nearly a year after we did our uh, harvest last year uh, we, st we still haven't worked our way through all the wheat that's in there they have so much wheat and we're getting piglets we have we have piglets coming through so uh, our pig population is growing all the time and that's the thing when we get to the end of this and when we when we get to a, a point where we can sell a load of pigs we are going to make a heap of money because we started with very few and uh, and we're just now uh, continually building them up um and trying to get the uh the next load of pigs in there and at some point i am going to have to sell some off i think maybe when we get to a full pen We'll start looking at selling them off, but we've got quite a lot of space in the pen. So uh, I'm not too worried about that yet. How are we doing with our lines? Oh, we've missed a line up there, but otherwise overlap's looking quite good. So uh, yeah, I'll have to go and clean that up. But otherwise, uh, we're looking pretty good at the moment. We are working our way through this field nicely. We're coming up to the end of the field. We've got one row left to go. And uh, I've just seen that a new high bid has come in for Field 15. It's over 200,000. And while our fishing, uh, our, our lakeside fishing area is bringing money and we're now into the positive numbers. Uh, yeah, we, <laughs> we, we are well behind on, uh, on being able to afford that now. Uh, I, I think if our whole harvest has come in, I've said this before, if our whole harvest has come in, and we were able to afford uh, and able to sell all of those crops and everything. I think we might be able to do it. But even then, we'd have to have sold our crops at best price, I think. And uh, and yeah, it's, it's massively out of our reach. And massively out of our equipment range as well. We just do not have the equipment to be able to uh, properly do that field. So uh, as nice as Field 15 with all its bonus for being just a massive field of loam would be uh, it's a little bit out of our range and uh, i think the dream of uh, of working it is uh, is going to disappear um especially in the next day where we are just not going to have the money to buy it uh we are going to is it i don't think it's ready to harvest i don't think anywhere is ready to harvest 2c is now weed free which is great news uh how is field 15 yeah no, field 15 is a way of being ready to harvest 
we are definitely going to be harvesting these two uh though next month uh field 10 will come up as well but uh we don't own it yet um yeah we're looking at those two next month i think we're looking at 12a 2b and 1 the month after um and then uh to uh 2a 2c and 6 the month after that and i think 12c is going to be the one that takes the longest to to come ready interestingly enough what have we got in there that is that is canola but is sitting i think we must have planted it after yeah the month after we planted those so uh yeah that's really interesting that that is going to take that long uh much longer because it was planted a month later than the others before we continue this video is brought to you in partnership with the awesome people at apex gaming pcs i've teamed up with apex gaming pcs to create my own custom line of pcs suitable for everybody from beginner farmers to virtual farming experts apex gaming pcs are offering up to 250 dollars off your next purchase just by using my link in the description below so go check them out so with field 2c done we can turn our attention to field six so we'll come into here that's parked in the lay by the other side i thought we had a hidden truck in the uh, in the wall then um and as i said last time i think what i'm gonna do is uh, drive up the side here and start working this from this uh, side here so let's unfold this and yeah we're gonna go along this edge here from this point and this then is uh 290 is the angle we're aiming for and that should then get everything uh, along here uh, actually it's 295 isn't it no no it's 290 290 is the angle we're aiming for uh, around about the edge of this field here and then uh we'll move our way across this we're gonna get both of the fields that we recently planted done today which is just great news i need to go into 3h though to do this field properly after lots of mucking around to get my angles right i think i finally sorted it on this field uh we are going at uh 290 this way and 110 the other and uh yeah that's that seems to work and uh, and seems to be going quite well so uh as a result uh we're now shifting across this field quite well and uh i'm making our way across it's going to be a little while before we finish field six and i am beginning to be able to see the weeds in this field um which is good uh I, I, my, i'm getting my eye in for them which is great because it means i'm i'm able to tell when i'm not actually uh hitting my target um at the moment i seem to be hitting it fairly well so that is good news and uh and and means i'm less unhappy about having uh, or not having gps and uh yeah we should be able to get through this it's still a really relaxing thing to be doing getting rid of these weeds i'm uh, i'm very much uh, enjoying just having a nice mellow time through these fields uh it is making the world of difference to not be under the time pressures that we've been under the last few months on the farm and just uh finishing off this job and having a little bit of a lull before the harvest comes along this is just incredibly relaxing going across this field and getting rid of these uh i i i can't seem to put into words just how relaxing it is to uh to do this and just be clearing up i have had a quick look at how uh heavy things are gonna get and 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 how much work is gonna happen during the harvest though uh we have uh three months to harvest the wheat three months to harvest the canola and two months to harvest the sorghum and they are all in the same three month period so uh yeah it's gonna be a massive amount of work 
uh, because that essentially means we've got six days to harvest nine fields and uh yeah that is an incredible amount of work we've got to do a field and a half a day to stay on target and uh hoping that we're gonna have stuff that is immediately available at the start in fact we know we are uh wheat is gonna be available straight away but i'm not convinced that we're gonna have the full three fields available in that first month We'll have to see how things develop, but we know we've got uh, two wheat fields that are ready, but to do one and a half per day, we need three ready in that first month. And at the moment, we're not looking like that's going to happen. If we have a look here on the map and have a look at the growth stage on everything, definitely those two are going to be ready in that first month. Uh, second month, well... The thing is, this isn't a great indicator at the moment because we know that the sorghum's got to be ready uh, in the first or second month. So that's this field here and this field here. And uh, I think sorghum is, uh, yeah, 12A. So 12A is actually looking fairly ready or getting closer to being ready. So maybe we'll get lucky and 12A will be ready with the wheat. If that's the case, uh, then we might be able to get the uh, three fields harvested in that first month um, and stay on target. But it's all about when stuff uh, comes ready and, uh, and, and we can get it up. Because, yeah, we need to get that turned around uh, fairly quickly in order to keep up with it. And, uh, of course, the other problem I've got is I don't have enough space to store everything. Uh, last year we ended up dumping all of the barley in with the pigs we can't do that this year because the pigs haven't got through all of the barley from last year yet i'm beginning to have some problems with the tractor now the uh yeah it's it's wow it is in very much in need of some repairs oh, i've also gone way too far over i can see a couple of weeds that aren't going to get caught by this. Yep, there we go. Oh, we missed a little bit on the end. Well, we've got a few patches. I will, uh, I'll ignore that and I'll move over a little bit. A, a couple of weeds is not too bad. Um, but I've got to make sure that I'm not leaving too many on the field. Um, but yeah, our tractor is in, well, is in need of repair now. It is under 50%. Uh, it has uh, spluttered out on me a couple of times now. And uh, if I don't get it repaired next time we're back at the yard, uh, we are going to end up with a problem. Let's lift uh, this up. Not far to go, though. And, uh, and as a result, we should be able to uh, get this field finished today. It's actually taking me a little bit longer than I expected to get through both of these fields. We, uh, we're looking at this being the only job we're doing today, I think based on uh the look of this and uh, yeah as long as my tractor keeps going we should get this done and uh we will then be free to go and earn some extra cash next game day uh maybe taking on a, a contract of some kind if we're lucky um but uh, i think our weed are this hoe is least isn't it because yeah it is so this is least. So I think we've just gone over an hour. Yeah, we've just gone over our third hour on it. And that is why we uh, have lost 600 odd pounds on leasing costs. And uh, as a result, uh, our over 1,000 pounds that we were on uh, at uh, earlier in the day from the fishing area has uh, has now reduced back down to about 754 uh, and that's partly because we've just had some money come in we're getting into the fiddly part of the field now lots of turning lots of moving around and trying to to get this sort of triangular bit of the field done uh it is uh quarter to four in the afternoon uh, which is very surprising that it's taken this long. I didn't expect to be going quite this long today to uh, to finish this off, but we are going to be having we are going to have this clear. 
we're going to be weed free by the end of today and uh, and ready for harvest a day away from uh, harvest actually happening um, and us not being able to get out here with this tractor to do this job so i am very very happy with this uh that is just excellent news and uh, we'll probably end up buying this hoe outright i think uh, at the end of the year uh, just because it is so useful and uh, and it is keeping all of our crops weed free and we should go into next year uh, knowing that we can uh, we can do weed uh, weed free at winter crops as well uh, which will be perfect for us um, if we uh, it's just going to up our yield again and uh, I think next year we're going to end up with more fields as well uh, if I can do two full field harvests and two full uh, seedings per day uh, then we're not going to have to go up to three uh, three days per month uh, in the new year. However, um, if we struggle to get everything seeded and we struggle to get everything done, uh, then it's quite possible that we will have to uh, to go up to that. I think with uh, some of the mistakes we made at the end of last year, we should easily be able to uh, to see that and get that done so yeah it's going to be tight and as we go further into this and add more and more land i think things are going to get tighter and tighter on here uh we need to make sure we have enough uh seeds and we need to make sure we have enough fertilizer going into our seeding season um at the moment though we are looking pretty good and uh we will see where we end up after this year's harvest however i think this field is done we've got a tiny little bit of weed in the bottom corner that i just need to clear up uh, over here i think we had a large patch uh we had a fairly large patch i might just run up the side here to uh, to clear this headland up because i think it's got a few bits uh, that we can clear out other than that it's just a couple of spots we missed in the middle of the field and that i am not too overly worried about they aren't going to hit our yield very much getting the big clumps and the big areas of weed out of this field were the important bit so uh and we've got 936 pound in the bank and a very broken tractor i think we probably want to get this back to the yard once we finish this field and uh, and get it repaired um which yeah i think we'll do this fairly well i think we'll also give it a wash i did wash it before we started doing the weeding today but uh, i think we'll give it a wash to help keep its maintenance because again i thought it conked out on me again then right let's fold this up i think this field is fairly weed free yeah there's a few clumps in the middle um but we've got worse fields uh so let's head back down to the yard and uh we'll get this tractor cleaned and repaired so i want to get this washed and uh then we'll drop the hoe off in the shed uh, get that put away and then get our tractor into the workshop jump out and give this a quick clean it's not got very dirty as i said i gave both of these bits of equipment a wash before we started today so uh they've not got too dirty doing this job and uh yeah this will just make sure our maintenance stays at a level uh that works the best for us and uh and, and means we we end up spending less money trying to repair these all the time or something that is uh well free to do because we've got the uh the washer there it's it's one of those things where early on i discounted washing my tractors i was quite happy to have dirty tractors from time to time uh the thing is having a dirty tractor can really work against you if you're not careful and uh, and so yeah it was it's absolutely worth washing your equipment uh between uses uh, oh, we've got to lower it first. There we go. And disconnect. There we are. 
Right, let's get this into our workshop and uh, and get this fixed up. I hope 936 pound is going to be enough to do this. Otherwise, I think that we might be leaving this tractor into here until next time to get it repaired. Uh, 2,872. So, uh, yeah, we've only just gone over the £1,000 balance. So we're going to have to leave this here and get it repaired next time. For now, though, I'm going to leave this here. So all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. Special thanks to all my patrons and channel members. Your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow. For more from Virtual Farmer, check out the links below. Follow on Twitch to watch live. And for more videos, subscribe and ring that bell. I will see you next time. Goodbye.